Good morning, good morning everyone. Hope everyone's fine today. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for watching wherever you are watching from all over the globe. God bless you all for watching. It is well with you. Today I want to talk about this uh, message and I want to share with you. And um, our message for today, the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. And it's from the book of Nehemiah 8 verse 10. It says, do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Praise the Lord. So what does the Bible mean? The joy of the Lord is your strength. The phrase, the joy of the Lord is your strength, is a powerful statement found in the Bible. Specifically in Nehemiah 8 verse 10, it speaks to the transformative power of joy that comes from a relationship with God. Amen? The source of joy, number one, knowing God. The joy of the Lord stems from a deep and personal relationship with God. It's not simply a fleeting feeling, but a profound experience of knowing and being known by God. Amen. Number two, abiding in Christ. This joy is rooted in the belief that Jesus Christ is the source of true joy and that through faith in him we can experience a joy that transcends earthly circumstances amen three filled with the holy spirit the holy spirit empowers believers with a sense of peace hope and joy that comes from god's presence within them amen number four the nature of strength Inner strength, the joy of the Lord is not physical strength, but an inner strength that empowers us to endure challenges, overcome obstacles, and persevere through difficult times. Amen. Five, refuge and protection. The joy provides a sense of security and refuge knowing that God is with us and he will never leave us. Amen. It offers protection from fear, anxiety, and despair. Amen. Six, hope and resilience. The joy of the Lord gives us hope and resilience, enabling us to face adversity with courage and faith, knowing that God's love and grace will sustain us. Amen. Praise the Lord. A practical application number one seek God's presence cultivating a relationship with God through prayer Bible study and fellowship is essential for experiencing the joy of the Lord Two, focus on gratitude practicing gratitude for God's blessings even in the difficult times can help us cultivate joy amen Three, embrace hope, holding on to the hope of God's promises and the assurance of his love can strengthen us through challenges. God bless.